Hi friends, this is Aparna and welcome to Aparna's Magic. Let's go to the kitchen and let's get started. We need fish. This is rohu fish. This is onion or pears. This is garlic that means lasun. This is jeera or cumin seeds and dhania that means coriander seeds. This is haldi powder or turmeric powder. This is Kashmiri red chilli powder. This is black pepper powder that means kali mirchki powder. This is garam masala powder. This is mustard seed that means sarso and green chilli that means hari mirchi. This is chopped dhania patta that means chopped coriander leaves. And this is ginger garlic paste, adrak or lasun ki paste. We need to grind this is onion or pears, add lasun that means garlic, add jeera that means cumin seeds and dhania that means coriander seeds, add black pepper powder that means kali mirch ke powder. Now add mustard seeds that means sarso around 1 tablespoon and green chilli or hari mirchi. We will grind it with water or pani. We have finished grinding. We have fish. This is rohu fish. Now add little bit of haldi powder or turmeric powder little bit of kashmiri red chilli powder add ginger garlic paste adrak or lasun ki paste little bit of freshly ground masala and salt to taste or namak now Marinate them nicely. This way. Our oil is nicely heated up. So add the marinated fish. Now let them fry for a while. They are nicely fried, so we are going to taste them. Now, in the same oil, add the freshly ground. One teaspoon of this is haldi powder or turmeric powder. One teaspoon of this is Kashmiri red chilli powder. And salt to taste or namak. Mix them nicely. And let them cook again. They have been simmering for 7 to 8 minutes now. So in this stage, add the fried fish. Mix it very gently and let them cook again. They have been cooking for another 5 to 6 minutes now. So it is almost done. So in this stage, add little bit of this is garam masala powder and chopped dhania patta. That means chopped coriander leaves. Now mix it very gently. And you're done. 
stay tuned for more recipes and please subscribe my channel Hi friends, this is Aparna and welcome to Aparna's Magic. Let's go to the kitchen and let's get started. We need prawns. This is chopped tomatoes. This is adra that means ginger. This is green chili or hari mirchi and elaichi that means cardamom. This is haldi powder or turmeric powder. This is kashmiri red chili powder. This is bhuna hua jeera powder that means roasted cumin powder. This is bhuna hua besan that means roasted gram flour. This is chopped dhaniya patta that means chopped coriander leaves. This is garam masala powder. This is sliced tomatoes. And this is ghee. Our oil is nicely heated up. So add little bit of haldi powder or turmeric powder into the oil and little bit of salt or namak mix it nicely now add the prawns Let them fry for a while. They are nicely fried, so we are going to take them out. We need to grind tomatoes, add chopped dhaniya patta that means chopped coriander leaves, add adarak that means ginger, add green chilli or hari mirchi and this is elaichi that means cardamom. We will grind it with water or pan. We have finished grinding. Now in the same oil add 1 tablespoon of this is Kashmiri red chilli powder. Mix it nicely. Now add the paste it. Add 1 teaspoon of haldi powder or turmeric powder, 1 teaspoon of this is bhuna hua jeera powder that means roasted cumin powder and 1 teaspoon of this is bhuna hua besan that means roasted gram flour. Add salt to taste or namak and sugar to balance it or chini. Mix it. And let them cook for a while. They have been cooking for 7 to 8 minutes now. So in the stage add the fried prawns. slice tomatoes
let them cook again they have been cooking for another two minutes now so in the stage add chopped dhaniya patta that means chopped coriander leaves add garam masala powder and one teaspoon of ghee into it or clarified butter now mix it very gently and you are done stay tuned for more recipes and please subscribe my channel